This banana plant has grown so much since we first got it. It's like, it used to be just the size of that root system. It's like, have you, did, have you seen how much it grown? It's grown like five times its size. And with this big old fish in there, I mean, he's grown 10 times the size if it's a boy, but it eats up all the nitrates and feeds off of the extra excess food. So it definitely keeps the tank in a very good balance in my opinion. We're gonna try to sneak into Petco and not tell anybody that we're going. There's a rainbow. We're going to the pet store. We're going out of our way because we got the approval to go to the pet store. We're gonna see if they have one little thing. The other half of that sucker, that's big. Look at that beast, that rainbow. A million views on a video, check it out. Him scooting his butt. He already got one. Oh, he woke up. We need another one with a tongue. Now these tanks don't look the cleanest, but they do have what I'm looking for. I wanna get more of those banana plants right up here. They got a nice little one. I think we might go with that one. They do so well in our tank. Perfect. Good. Just um, if those are two banana, the banana plants back there. Thank you. You need more? We have more. or two banana plants. That's mm. what we're contemplating between. I'm good with my banana plants. <laughs> I am so stoked because these do so well in the tank. I can't wait to put these in. It was the size of the one that we have at home except it blew up within about four weeks. It went from this size, which is pretty <laughs> small, to that colossal banana plant that we currently have. If you've never got these before, they are super easy to care for. I mean, I turn on my fish light, with, which is a standard LED on our 10 gallon aquarium freshwater kit, maybe two or three hours a day. Some days I skip a day or two, but they thrive very well. Highly recommended, easy to care for, freshwater plant. That keeps your tank pretty clean too, and is rewarding because it grows new home of these beautiful plants this thing is huge this is a 10 gallon right here and this just in scale for you you could see how big that basically grew and you're gonna see how small these new little ones are and what's this tube here yeah that's my OCD we are going to drip acclimate these plants just for about 15 minutes So we're gonna let this settle in, we're gonna let it drip for a little bit. It's almost made its way down, it's just about to. And then we'll be back in a few minutes. They are all acclimated, set, and ready to be put in their new tank. All right, so AJ is gonna do the honors after I just spilled half the bag on the floor, unclipping it, but we're gonna go ahead and drop them in and it'll show you somewhat of a size comparison of these new small ones. You put one right next to the big one. Go ahead. You just move it and put it on the put it on the bottom. Make sure it sinks to the to the bottom. There you go. See how tiny those look compared to that big one. Yeah, that's cool. Right by the aerators. Perfect. Huge difference. Those are gonna flourish and become nice big banana plants soon enough before we know it. Thank you so much for watching this little plant edition that we did today, which was spontaneous. 
And these things are really neat looking and they're called banana plants because they have these little stalks of roots on the bottom that literally look like bananas. And tomorrow we are going to be stocking this coral frag rack that I made in my other DIY video in our saltwater tank. So stay tuned for that one. That one's going to be awesome. Make sure to like this video, please. Hit the notification bell button below and all that fun stuff. And stay adventurous. A1A Adventures.